Welcome to the Getting Started with Pyramid video series. In this video, we'll cover the basic workflow using the Model, Discover, and Present modules. To get started, we log into our server. Here, we see the Pyramid welcome screen. This is where we find shortcuts to the Pyramid modules and other content. To get started, we'll click on the shortcut button for opening the Model module. Here, we see the Model start screen. We currently have three options for creating data models. The first, Add Existing Database, is where users can connect to an existing database. Advanced, users can go ahead and build their own ETL using the Advanced Modeling tool, or Start From File, and this is what we'll do today, where we're going to cover the Start From File option to perform quick modeling. I have a spreadsheet on my machine that has several tabs of factual and dimensional data. I want to turn the spreadsheet into a data model to do discovery, and to create a presentation from that model. The sample spreadsheet is available for download from the Pyramid Community website. I'll be using the sample spreadsheet, but any spreadsheet will work for quick modeling. First, I simply drag the spreadsheet onto the page, and Pyramid automatically uploads the file. Once the upload is complete, I get to choose where I want my new model to live. Now I can choose any database system that I have access to, or I can select the out-of-the-box in-memory option if I need to. I'll select the in-memory engine and build my model. Pyramid uses data heuristics and algorithms to determine the best design and relationships between tables to build my new model. Once the processing is complete, it opens a new model in Discovery. Notice that Pyramid now has tabs for each item that we're working on. We see a tab for the data model we have created. On the Model tab, we can see the ETL data flow that the Pyramid model engine built for us can edit and enhance this model as needed. On the Discover tab, we see a familiar interface with selection panels for dimensions, measures, and elements. We can also see a menu in the middle, which allows us to drag and drop items directly onto the canvas to create different grid and chart type reports. We also see drop zones, where we can quickly define the layout of our query. For our first discovery, we'll build a quick grid showing sales for each manufacturer broken out by product category. We'll drag the product category chip onto the drop zone for columns. Then we'll select the sales measure chip. Notice that pyramid intelligence behind the scenes automatically adds this into the value drop zone. We can enhance this grid further by dragging the price chip into either the foreground or background options in the color menu of the drop zone. And we can drag quantity chips into the size drop zones to drive the size of our grid numbers. Next, we'll save the report to the content management system in a folder that we have access to. Now I'll create a new report in any of the three following ways. By selecting the Save As command, using the Duplicate function, or by selecting the New Report button at the top ribbon. We'll create a bar chart of sales by education level, and we'll place a product category chip on colors. Next, we'll right-click on the bar chart icon and select the stacked bar chart option to change the display. Then we'll save this new report as sales bar chart. We'll create another report and make this report a scatter chart of products by quantity, price, and overhead. And then we'll add the product category to color. To enhance this report further, we'll add country to filters using the options in the filter drop zone pop-out menu. Finally, we'll change the theme to achieve a different color layout. Now we'll save this report to the same folder and name it Scatter Chart. You can quickly add these reports to a presentation by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and choosing the New Presentation command. We see the presentation interface has a familiar look and feel with grid lines and rulers to help lay out our content appropriately. And we have cover and content master page templates to provide a consistent look and feel for each slide. We have the option to quickly define a master slide template for our content slides. To do this, we will select it with the checkbox. We'll drag and drop a logo image onto our canvas. This design will be applied to all slides. Now we'll add the discoveries that we previously built. Using the content panel, 
Next, we'll grab our sales grid and place it across the top. We'll locate our stack bar chart. Then we'll add our country slicer and our scatter chart report. Finally, we'll connect our slicer using interactions. Now we'll right click and select the add slide command to create a new slide. First, we'll copy in the scatter chart. Then we'll add our country slicer here. And this time we'll use our interaction manager and relate those reports together. Now we're ready to view our presentation. We click the pyramid icon to run the presentation. We can change our slicer selection and watch our report update. We can interact with individual cells by right clicking to access commands such as dice, sort, filter, and pivot. All the actions which we are used to. We can use the right arrow button to move to the next slide. And we can use a slicer there as well. In just a few minutes, we took a spreadsheet, turned it into a data model by just dragging and dropping, built three discovery reports with just a few clicks, added those reports to a presentation, and viewed the runtime presentation. This concludes a getting started video for Pyramid.